In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the two array function provided by the underscore JS code library. Now, to make use of this function, we have to make sure we include a reference to underscore in our web page. As you can see here, I'm including a reference from, from a popular CDN, but you can also download underscore JS to your local development environment and reference it from your own development server. Now, basically what toArray does is it allows us to pass in um, an object and it will convert it to an array. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to create a function here called myFunk. And myFunk is going to be called down here with a number of arguments. We'll just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, in JavaScript, there is a special object called arguments. And so in JavaScript, named function parameters, while they are definitely a good practice, um, they are actually optional. Um, you can actually set it up so that you can reference those arguments through the arguments object instead of through parameter names. This is especially useful if you have a function where you, you're not quite sure what the number of parameters are going to be. Um, you have a, very number, a variable number of arguments possibly being passed in. So we'll just go ahead and run this code and let's look at the arguments object that comes out of this as a result. So we're going to expand this out and we're going to see that we basically have argument 0, which is 1, argument 1, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, so on and so forth. Now if we scroll down here real quick, we're going to notice the prototype for arguments is not an array. It's actually just a plain old object. So this object just happens to have six properties, 0 through 5, and then it also has a property called length, but it's not an array because you'll expand out this uh, object prototype and you'll see there's no array functions here. So this particular object does not, um, is, is not considered to be a JavaScript array. But let's say I wanted to convert it to an array. I can use underscores to array function to do that. So now I'm going to say underscore dot to array and I'm going to pass in my arguments object just like this. So we're going to save that and reload. Check it out. It is now an array. If we expand that out, we have our 0 through 5 and then 1 through 6. Now, arrays in JavaScript aren't even really arrays anyways. They're also object maps, just like our arguments object was. But if we expand out the prototype, we're going to see all of the usual array functions that are available for our, um, for our objects that we consider to be arrays in JavaScript. OK. The next thing I'd like to take a look at is actually just working with a plain old object. So let's do console.dir. I'm going to create a property or an object here. It's going to have a couple of properties on it. One will be first name, let's say Bob, last name, Smith, maybe we'll say age um, 23. And we'll say height, we'll just say tall. Now what's going to happen is I have an object, and it's actually going to convert this object to be an array. But let's first call this just passing in the object, and let's see what the result looks like. Reloading, you're going to see we have our object with our properties. Now I'm going to pass that object into underscore to array. I'm going to save that. I'm going to reload. Oh, looks like I'm missing a uh, semicolon here. Oh, and I am actually missing a closing parens. Reload. Now look, I have an array where each of the properties was basically converted to an item in that array. So I have Bob Smith 23 and tall. So you can see the toArray method is very helpful for ta basically taking objects and converting them to arrays and uh, especially useful for converting the arguments object uh, to an array.